hi just one more day for the final exam so in this for this one day don't do any kind of preparation just leave it completely and be relaxed so just be confident that you did whatever you could do and go to the exam uh, with full confidence don't have any negative thoughts see you might have prepared 90% of the syllabus and you might have left out maybe 10% of the topics now don't keep thinking about that 10% right just keep telling yourself that all the questions are going to come from the syllabus that you have covered okay even the one who is going to get first rank might not have prepared 100% of the syllabus no one is going to be 100% perfect so remember that if you have left out some topics that is okay now it is not the time to worry about them or panic about it just be confident just just keep telling yourself that question paper is going to be easy and you are going to get, secure a very good rank just keep telling yourself this okay and don't think about any negative thoughts don't think about things like what happens if i don't get a rank this time don't don't go into that negative mode now just leave it just just keep dreaming just keep thinking that you are going to get a very good rank in the gate exam okay so just keep telling you keep telling yourself that you have done enough and that is going to be enough to get you a very good rank that is the first thing and stop your preparation completely now and for this for this one day for this one or two days that you are going to have just try to relax be calm do some breathing exercises as frequently as possible and also take plenty of water just remember this before the, before going to exam i mean not exactly before going to exam the one day before exam just try to have as much water as possible that is going to calm you down it is scientifically proven that if you take a lot of water it is going to reduce your anxiety levels okay and one important thing is sleep well so try to get as much sleep as possible in these two days you have prepared well you have worked hard you did whatever you could now just relax sleep well and a very good night's sleep is going to help you a lot in the exam rather than preparing now okay so sleep well before the exam the night before the exam try to sleep at least for eight hours it is very difficult but still try to sleep for eight hours before you go to the exam and try to reach the exam center one hour before the exam itself and don't don't be in a hurry okay so try to start early and reach the exam center early and just go there sit peacefully and do some breathing exercises before you start your examination okay and while going to the exam center carry one water bottle because while while you are writing the taking the test it is better that you keep sipping some water don't drink too much water during the examination just keep sipping okay some few you know just take some few few ounces of water that is enough and also carry a jacket with you sometimes it so happens that your system may be very close to the air conditioner and that is going to disturb you a lot that is going to take your concentration off so it is better take a jacket with you and if if the air conditioning is too much in the examination you can ask the insulator to just turn it off or increase the temperature okay and the after before just before the minutes before you start the exam just do some uh, breathing exercise it is very simple just focus on your breathing just count the, you know how many times you're breathing so one to ten so you breathe you, you just try to count your breath from one to ten and again start from one to ten and again start from one to ten do this do this just before the exam that will calm you down and the next important thing is while answering the question paper you need not always answer the questions in the order that are presented that they are that they have given you okay so you can answer the questions in the order of your preference what i mean to say is let us say if you are answering the computer science question paper first instead of aptitude you can, you can either answer aptitude or computer science that depends on your confidence depending on your confidence uh, what i mean to say is if you are very good with uh, computer science subjects then start off with computer science question paper and also in the computer science questions also you need not go through the questions one by one as they are listed in the question paper you just go on to the questions which you have prepared for example let's say you are very good with uh, algorithms then just search the question paper for the algorithms questions first right and once you answer those next go to the subject other subject that you have prepared well so 
generally what happens is when people see one or two difficult questions in the question paper they start panicking they start thinking that question paper is entire question paper is difficult it never happened that the entire question paper is difficult only maybe you know five six questions will be difficult or at most ten questions will be difficult remember that you are not going to compete with the question paper you are competing with others other people right so which means you need not get 100 marks in order to get a good rank in gate you need to be better than the others right if a question is very difficult for you just remember that the question will be equally difficult for other students as well right so you have the margin of safety so even if you are not able to answer 10 15 questions 10 to 15 questions still you will be able to get a very good rank and gate so my suggestion is when you see two or three difficult questions in a row don't panic don't think that the question paper is difficult what happens if you do that is you will not be able to answer even easy questions also so stop panicking if you see few questions which are difficult just skip them go to the next questions and start over again fresh okay so forget about the difficult questions completely and one most important thing is when you have answered a question just remember that you have to use save and next button don't go to the next question directly by you know browsing the question numbers once you have answered a question and once you have clicked on an option just remember to use save and next so many people have done this mistake last time without doing save and next they directly jumped on to the next questions and they have forgot the answer that they have marked earlier right so don't do this if you have answered a question use save and next button and how do you answer questions is if you see a question and if you think that you can answer it in one minute answer it then and there if you see a question and if it is lengthy and if you feel that it takes maybe more than one minute or more than two minutes to answer it to read the question and understand it but if you know the concept for example if you see a question in computer networks or computer organization generally questions will be lengthy right if you feel that you can answer these questions but it is going to take time then you can use this option mark for review and go to the next okay so try to use these options wisely mark for review is a very good option and whenever you feel that a question is difficult but you can answer it if you are given enough time then just mark it for review and go to the next question after you finish the entire question paper then in the second round come and answer the questions which you have marked for review got it in the first round answer the simple questions in the second round answer the questions which you have marked for review and if you feel that you a question is lengthy and you don't know the concept and you can't answer it then just leave it completely don't look at it again okay and lastly don't do any guesswork okay so if you if you are very much confident that let's say option a is the correct answer then go for it if you feel that the answer could be option A or option B, then don't do any guesswork, okay? Don't, don't pick any lottery there and don't play any games. If you are 100% confident, then only answer a question. Otherwise, you'll get negative marks because of which, you know, you might uh, go, go down in the ranking, right? So answer only questions that you are confident and remember that you are not going to answer all the 65 questions you are not going to aim for 100 marks there is margin of safety there will be difficult questions but there will be only few questions so don't panic when you see a lot of difficult questions in a row okay so that it so happens that sometimes the the way the, they have you know uh, composed the paper the first few questions may be difficult so if you look at the first few questions and come to a decision that the question paper is difficult then you are going to perform badly in the exam okay so few questions may be difficult that should not hamper your this complete uh, your, your uh, exam okay so my suggestion is pick up the uh, questions that you have prepared well from the subjects so pick up those subjects first and answer 
the one you know the questions which you would answer in one minute and if there is any lengthy question just answer it in the second round okay so you are going to have enough time you will definitely have enough time because you are not going to answer all the questions right and if you are confident with aptitude go for it first if you are not confident that you'll do well in aptitude then go for computer science questions first okay so for this one or two days just stop preparation completely maybe go to a movie or hang out with your friends just stay relaxed don't think about exam and especially don't think about the questions or topics that you have left completely right if you have prepared 90 percent or 80 percent of the syllabus that is good that is good enough right so keep telling yourself that you are you, you have done enough or you have done whatever you possibly could do and that is going to fetch you a good rank keep telling yourself this okay so now don't have any negative thoughts go to your exam with a positive mental attitude and do well okay so you you have really prepared well and now it is the time to do well okay all the best